Verizon. Look who I have on Zoom. It's my Haiti buddies. Look who it is. I'm Pastor Mark. Hi, New Horizon. It's Doug Berkman. And? New Horizon. It's Noel Hoy. Well, it's great to see you guys. I miss you, man. I haven't seen you since March or something. Love that you're in San Francisco, Noel. That looks great. <laughs> <laughs> my laptop fell off a second bunk in a mission trip once, and this is the best you get, brother. So there you go. We're on a Zoom call together because we want to appeal to you today for Haiti. We thank you for all that you've done there. You've helped us build a dormitory, and we're housing kids today, and they're being educated and clothed, and they're safe. It's an awesome, awesome thing. So, Doug, how many times have you been to Haiti? Been to Haiti 12 times. That's so amazing. And Doug certainly has a heart for Haiti. In fact, we would not have built this dormitory unless Doug had dug out the opportunity and made the inroads and made the friendships and well done good and faithful servant and how about you know how many times you've been to Haiti in the last two years that's awesome are you liking it you like it down there yeah I like it I like to go down and make a difference in people's lives it it's important oh that's so great that's Man. so great so uh, Noel Valade is about seven foot two, and I think he probably weighs 290. And so anybody in Haiti looks up to this man. New Horizon, we normally do a fundraiser for Haiti in May. COVID didn't permit us to do that. So this is a virtual Haiti fundraiser. We do budget for Haiti, your weekly giving gives to Haiti, but that's only part of it. We do some fundraisers through the year so we can continue continue to fund. We send money at the end of every month, and James down there uses that for, uh, for all the needs down in Haiti. And we are appealing to you that you would give. Doug, how about this? Tell us about COVID right now in Haiti, because that's on everybody's mind. 184 countries have been touched by COVID. Absolutely, I think COVID is a particular concern in Haiti due to the lack of regular health care and the density of the population um, and it's taken a while to build up but it's definitely a concern fortunately James is taking it taking it very seriously and he's got a lot of measures um, in place to keep the kids safe as well as to help the community and it is tough because if you don't have refrigeration you got to go to the market every day to get food and he's feeding 12 kids and his family and all that kind of stuff so we need to cover them in, in prayer, friends. And Absolutely. these guys were there in the springtime while I was at Mardi Gras, and so I'm glad you guys were able to go. So Noel, tell us what you did. What was your construction project back in February? We went down this time, what we had done is we went down and we had built an outside kitchen with a storage facility. Uh, it is separate from the, the dorm itself. Um, they keep them separate down there. And then um, when we left, they were able to go ahead and complete and get the roof on. And as far as we know, they're just waiting for this steel door if it's not already on to complete the, the unit. And that foundation has been there for a while, right on top of the cistern that we helped build, which is right next to the dorm, which we helped build. And it's all surrounded by the wall, the security wall that we build. And so praise the Lord, New Horizon. We're making some great progress. Noel, what's, uh, what's, what's on the agenda next project? I think what we're going to do next, Doug and I looked at it and talked about it, is go ahead and finish the inside uh, bathroom. Uh, inside the dorm and put down some non strip tile and get the shower and everything running and working properly so they don't have to go outside and, and, and outside the dorm for, you know, bathroom facilities. So New Horizon, we're asking you to participate in this fundraiser. It's a joy to do. Perhaps on top of your tithes and offerings, you can go to our digital giving site, newhorizonchurch.org. You can do the pull down menu and you'll see Haiti Orphanage. And you can drop your giving in there, $5, $10, $50, whatever it might be. There's also a number at the bottom of your screen. You simply would text the, the word Haiti to that number with the amount that you'd like to give. So put that into your text app, write the word Haiti, and put $25, whatever you would, and we are going to send you a Fridgy Magnet. It's a Haiti dormitory Fridgy Magnet, and you can be praying for New Horizon Storm in Haiti. Thank you very much. And to close this out, I'm going to ask Doug if he would pray for our friends in Haiti and pray for our fundraising. Please, Doug. Sure. Dear Lord, uh, we pray for the New Horizon Dormitory in Haiti. Thank you. Lord. Pray for the children there, and for Thank the staff you. and their families, for James and his family. We pray that the New Horizon Dormitory will be an agent of change in the community. Amen. Light that draws other people towards it and draws them towards you and Thank you. your pure love. We pray for New Horizon, for this fundraiser. Pray that we'll be able to get together soon, Lord. We miss each other. 
Yes. But we love you, and we appreciate that we've grown tighter with you during this time of being Thank away from each other. Thank you, God. Pray all these things in Jesus' strong name. Amen. Hey, Take thanks, pause, guys. God. Thanks for your time. Thanks for your time. You guys Thank stay you. well. Stay healthy. Do what you do, and thank you for all you do for Haiti. You guys are awesome. Thank you. God, God bless you, gang. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night, guys. Bye-bye. Well.